Glory be to God. This is Yvonne reporting to you from Charlotte, North Carolina to all my fellow empowered individuals, targeted individuals. I'm going to share the word of the Lord from, with you first from Luke 21, I believe, verse 24 or 25, starting from there. And most of you know this because we feel like what we are living, if you are a targeted individual, you, we are a sign to the masses. They don't recognize it. This is how blind the people are around us. We ourselves are a sign to the masses about what is coming, how we are going to be treated, how most of them will be treated themselves. But a lot of people are in denial of what is really going on. And people are working hard to cover up the truth. My brothers and sisters, Luke 21, there will be signs in the sun and the in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Now people hear this and they get terrorized, my friends. I do not understand. We're not here to terrorize one another. When we hear this, when we see the signs, when we know our own life is being used as a sign to the masses, my brothers and sisters, it is a blessing in disguise because it takes us a lot to have to really deal with the BS of a lot of these people. All right, because some of them are truly demons with flesh on them. But there's a lot of good people out there. There's a lot of souls that have been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And they're waiting for you. They're waiting for me to help bring the gospel of salvation to them. They don't know it yet, but you know it, my sister. You know deep down in your heart all this crap you've been living through, all the hate, all the rejection, all the oppression. It is not just because God wanted to crush us. It is to refine us to enter the kingdom of God. We are being made more righteous and holier. We are being sanctified. Correct. It is true. But my brothers and sisters, if you're still alive through this targeting, through the harassment, through the torture they're putting your mind through, you are not just here to roll over and die. You are here to be standing up to declare the truth, to declare the salvation in spite of the mockers, in spite of the scoffers, in spite of these yellow belly cowards who love to do things behind closed doors, who like to attack your body through this technology, who love to see you know, see people suffer, but you are here, my God, with the strength of the Lord, with the spirit of the living God, with the endurance to be able to live through what you're living through. You are a diamond in a rough. You are a diamond in the rough and the Lord is using you. He is going to use you. Hang tight, be strong. Let us pray for one another, for the Lord to lead us, to be able to pray with one another, to commune with one another, because you are not a targeted individual simply because my brothers and sisters what the enemy meant for my harm what the enemy meant to destroy us to defame us to discredit us, God is going getting ready to elevate you to prosper you to heal you from that chronic illness to heal your mind that has been tossed around you know the jokes that they make like a soccer ball because they don't care for you but you are getting blessed by the love, by the strength, by the living Jesus Christ who died on the cross at Calvary for us. He gave his life. He is the commander in chief. And we are here. We have even been rejected by some churches, my brothers and sisters. This is deep. This is serious because there are some Christians who are asleep. They don't see the Holy Spirit working through us. But it is time. The time is coming to profess the truth.